Today we're going to talk about the water cycle. Here's a model of the water cycle with a lamp representing the sun, some water representing the ocean, and a cloud above some mountains. So here's your question. How are the processes of evaporation and condensation involved in the water cycle and demonstrated in this model? Take a minute and discuss that with your classmates, then I'll be back to talk about the answer. When we talk about the water cycle, it's important to understand that heat from the sun causes water to evaporate. In our model, our lamp represents the sun, and that heat is causing the water to evaporate into water vapor. As that water vapor cools down, it condenses into tiny droplets of water. You can actually see tiny droplets of water all over our cloud. Condensation forms clouds, which are actually made of tiny droplets of liquid water. I'm sure this is what you and your classmates came up with, so keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.